I'm excited to be able to put my own heart and soul into everything about it. Hi, I'm Jeremy Cruy. And I'm Jillian Cruy. Here at Arch Cabins LLC, it's a really important cause for us to be able to give back to our community. We're super excited to announce the winner for our 20 by 20 Arch Cabin kit. All right, guys, we're at the computer now. It was really wonderful to be able to offer the giveaway. This one really went to the perfect person. <laughs> Name Taylor Brown. Taylor Brown. Taylor Brown, congratulations. All right, here we go, guys. Hello. Hi, is this Taylor Brown? Yes, this is she. Hi, this is Jeremy and Jillian Cruy from Arch Cabin. You won. You won the 20 by 20 kit. Oh my God, my heart is right. <laughs> <laughs> it is absolutely a part of Arch Cabin's destiny and future to be able to not only give away homes, but to be there to help build these houses. Everything wasn't coming together in the time frame that I wanted, and all of this makes sense now. Oh, so that's like now great. I have the money that I take to be able to finish out the inside. Oh, that's Incredible. perfect. Our ultimate goal is to, to give away three, five kits this year yeah. and, you know, really help some people because uh, Arch Cabins has been such an immense help in, to us in our lives and we've seen how it can change lives firsthand. All right, so we've got everything checked off of our list here. I think we ought to head over to Vinton to go see Taylor. And get her her 2020 kit. Excellent work. Let's get in the truck and roll. All right. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Chilly and Elaine. <laughs> I'm just missing the kids, you know. We left the kids at home for a reason. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> Ooh, I'm so excited. They're coming in hot. Oh, I think I can see her. Yep. Yep, yep there they are. <laughs> Little Mia. Finally here. <laughs> there it is, all the things. I don't see anything. <laughs> well, we have to put it together. How are you guys doing? It's finally here. <laughs> I'm so excited guys. to be here. I'm so excited that y'all made up. the trip and delivered it. To yes. Me. <laughs> yeah, we're excited. Can we get a hug? Yes, for sure. My name is Taylor Brown. I am a photographer. I've been a photographer for probably like 15 years. Living our dream life here with my daughter Mia, which she's seven years old. This is crazy. <laughs> yeah, this is finally and happening. The fact, I actually was going to build a traditional style house. The price of lumber just went up and then I think now I know that it was all meant to be for a reason because yep. I would have been stuck with a mortgage right. and that's not really what I want. That's not yeah. the route I want. Mortgage free is the way to go. Oh my God. Cool. <laughs> I was following Arch Cabins for about, I guess, six years now. Well, whenever they decided to do the giveaway in November, I was just like, okay, maybe I could win this, you know? Do you know that you only had one entry? I so, had to have had like 500. Yeah, but, <laughs> so, but Jillian erased all the duplicates. You won with one entry. That's so wild. Yeah. My intuition was saying to be consistent. You know, filling stuff out, I don't really do that, you know? I would wake up every morning and imagine myself in the arch cabin and how it would look and walk around in it in a totally imaginative state. I did it for 30 days. And I really feel like there's so much power in that and believing it and feeling it and then it just becoming. Well, this is a beautiful spot you have. Yeah. Wow, this is so cool. What a nice little refuge. Uh, would you mind giving us a tour? Totally. Showing us your yeah. space? Yeah, this is where the cabin will go. Awesome. <laughs> the plans are to have, obviously, a kitchen, living room. Mia's room will be upstairs uh, in the loft area. So this is the door right here. Open the door. Yeah, go in. We're inside. This is gorgeous. If you would like a cup of tea, we can sit and chat. Excellent. I'll grab Wonderful. the eggs out of the fridge. <laughs> so if it's right here, sit down right here. Yep. Bathroom. <laughs> can somebody give me some toilet paper? <laughs> so that it's a little bit bigger. Um, have a 10 by 10 bump out on the back. That'll be my bedroom with a closet there. When you think of the size, 400 square feet, well, actually with the loft it's more, but it does feel much bigger because of that, the ceiling height. I like that, I like where it's at. Yeah. My friend Elena helped me design it to where if I wanna have six to eight people over the table, we have enough room where it can have as many people over as I want. 
when you're in your house, you should feel like it is your temple, you know, when we can create it over time um, and make it our own. It just makes it so much more special and, you know, makes it truly feel like home. There's just something so special about coming back home. Now. Oh, we're gonna go inside. <laughs> this place is gorgeous. We've lived in 700 square feet for what? It's been three years, Mia, and I really love it. The only thing I sleep on the couch, and she has her own room. So, the only thing that I really wanted was for us to have our own separate spaces, and the arch cabin will be perfect for that. I'm thinking I want to do the walls white like this in that color, um, do the wood like at the Shire, but in the lighter wash. Uh -huh. So it's more Scandinavian. Yeah. Here's the kitchen. Thank you, Mia. <laughs> Bananas. I love my house. I really do love my house. I just want my own space so I'm not sleeping on the couch. Right. Yeah. So right. it will probably look pretty similar to this, this you know. The picture you showed me of this before uh -huh. to now is phenomenal. This is such a gorgeous space. This will be my office, so I won't have to worry wow. about it. You know, That's gonna change everything. So I have the windows, if y'all wanna just see the window closed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I that was the that. thing awesome with the arch cabin. I was a little bit like, oh, I don't know because of the side walls, but I think because I am going with the right length, it'll still bring lots of light in. Oh yeah. What is this instrument? That's a monochord for sound healing. Kind of like when you're going into a meditation. Um. Oh wow. Can we try to connect? So when I do sound healing, I'll play this in the beginning. So just kind of wow. like. I discovered meditation when I wasn't trying to meditate. To have Mia, I had to do IVF because I wasn't able to have a baby. My doctor suggested acupuncture. So they would put all the needles in me and then just put like relaxing music on and leave me there. Well, I'm laying there. I really feel like God spoke to me and was like, you're gonna have a baby. I can't even, it was just like a know that you know that you know. They retrieved my eggs and it was like the lowest grade egg you could have. And the previous time I had done it, I had a high grade egg and it still didn't work. So my family's looking at me like they don't wanna get my hopes up. My doctor wasn't even the same, but I knew I was having a baby. Well, she's seven years old. It made me realize that if you really believe that you can have something, because you're listening to that inner voice, God is what I call it, you believe it. <laughs> And then when you believe it, you receive it. Do you know that Weatherman song? Yeah, she's like my heart and soul. I don't know what I would do if I didn't have her. She's such a creative, amazing child. She, she, I'm so happy that you guys got this house. It was, we were so worried that it was gonna go to somebody that didn't really need it. If you're not true to yourself, you're gonna be miserable, you know? I found myself in an unfortunate situation and I was not happy. I moved in with my parents and I was there for about six months and then we ended up getting this place. I went from living in a really big house in a historic district in Beaumont to this and just realizing what's important. You had what seemed like to be perfect, but the inside was not perfect when you are on something that feels really dark and really hard. As long as you can see the step in front of you, you're gonna make it through. When you get through, this was completely bright and you're out of the darkness. You don't have to look at everything as like such a big, huge, Deal, whether it be an emotional challenge, whether it be building a house, no matter what it is. Every day I'll wake up remembering that, like, I daydreamed about this. I'm just here now, and now I'm arch cabin, ready to put up, like. <laughs> inside of 
of us. If we can hear that voice inside of us, follow that. I can look at the past now where it has led me to. I can't explain the amount that I've gotten from this experience. I'm so glad that this is going to expand your world. Hopefully this is really going to help springboard you and your daughter into a whole new season and chapter of your life. One down. Many more to go. Rock and roll.